Hello friends, this is Durga again from my university. As part of CCS Spark and Hadoop Developer, um, we will see how uh, we can actually do transform stage and store using uh, Scala as well as Python um, uh, as programming languages. But before getting into the main learning objectives, uh, let us see how we can actually submit a Scala based application uh, on the Spark cluster. It's a simple program. I will try to read the data from HDFS and write it back to HDFS. And the script looks like this. It is, it is only running two main commands. One is to read data from uh, HDFS using sd.txt file and then save it back uh, to HDFS using a function called save as text file. Even if you don't understand these two things, that is fine. Those things will be covered uh, later. But for now, we will try to see how we can actually uh, build a Scala program using uh, uh, this code. And then we will see how we can actually build a jar file using a tool called SBT, Scala build tool. And then we will also see how we can actually submit the job using spark submit command. So for the instructions, go to the documentation, click on spark 1.2.1 documentation. And then here uh, you have quick start. So click on the quick start and search for spark submit. So here it will cover uh, how you can actually build a simple uh, uh, Scala based project or application to run on Spark. And, uh, uh, for, uh, and then you have to uh, run a command called SBT package and then you can actually submit like this. Uh, so to do this, first you need to have SBT package. Once you have that, you can actually uh, start developing the program by providing the gay layout. So let's get into our cluster and uh, try SBT and there is no command. So the Cloudera VM which we are using do not have SBT. So we will try to use SBT or install SBT so that we can build directly on the VM itself. In uh, certification also they will provide all these things. I think SBT will be available for you so you don't need to worry about uh, SBT much. But there might be question where you have to uh, build a jar file out of the Scala application and you have to submit it. So, uh, but for your VM to, to do that, uh, you need to install SBT. As this is CentOS, so you, you can uh, run uname-a. It's a CentOS based uh, or enterprise Linux uh, based uh, VM, uh, which is uh, nothing but a variation of Red Hat or CentOS or Fedora. So you can run sudo. M. M is a uh, installer tool uh, in uh, Red Hat flavor uh, Linux OSs like Red Hat, CentOS and uh, Fedora. So you can run this sudo m minus y install svt and hit enter. Then it will try to connect to the internet and uh, download the svt and it will install in a moment. If you are not able to connect to the internet probably this command might fail. So make sure that you are able to connect to the internet or you are not behind a firewall within your organization if you are doing this at your office. Okay, it says no package SBT available. So let me do Google here. So it is not in the cloud error repositories. Um, so what we have to do is we have to Google it. You can do it on the VM as well. Click on download and then you can click on this star file. Click on OK. OK, it's only 1.2 MB, so it will download very fast. You can say extract and I would like to extract it to um, uh, my home directory cloud era and click on extract. So this is my home directory. The OS user which I have used to log into the VM is Cloudera, so it is directly downloading into my uh, home directory and click on extract. Okay, I think it is still running or it might be done. It seems to be done. You can go here. I am in, in my home directory, lsltr, you can see the SBT directory created here. 
so you can do sbd ls minus ltr and this is the location this is where sbt command is so we have to set up our environment variables for that let's copy this path copy cd it will take you to the home directory vi tilde dot slash uh, slash dot bash underscore profile okay and then here you can say sbt underscore home equal to paste remove the bin from here just give uh, home path till sbt and then export path equal to this is very important you need to have sbt underscore home pointing to the correct uh, location uh, it should be the parent directory of the bin and then you can uh, append the sbt home slash bin to the existing path so dollar path colon will take the existing path and then i am concatenating with the new uh, bin path which is nothing but sbt underscore home so here dollar sbt underscore home stands for slash home slash cloud slash sbt and then slash bin and then you can save it exit you can exit it let me exit this also and then i am launching a new session and you can say sbt okay it is not working i think uh, bash profile only reflects once the server is restarted so what i can do is i can do this now i can say sbt and it will show you uh, it will uh, show you that it is running so from any path you can um, uh, run sbt now so what we have done so far we have installed sbt we have downloaded uh, using our browser and then we have untarred into a home directory which is slash home slash cloud era it got untarred into a directory called sbt under home directory and then we have set um, the environment variable under dot bash profile and you can revisit the parameters of the environment variables in dot bash profile okay anyway now you you uh, you can run sbt from anywhere uh, after that i rerun the command also uh, means i rerun the script using this command so that it can reflect here as we are already in cloudera session uh, the bash profile only runs when you actually uh, log in in this case i i am already logged in that's why it, it is not working but when i restart or when i log out and log in i think it will work anyway if it does not work make sure you you have uh, the uh, path set to uh, the sbt slash bin directory either like this or you can actually directly say slash home slash cloud era slash sbt slash bin under path and you can also validate by running command called nv env which will get all the environment uh, variables for this session and uh, you can also grep minus i sbt to see if it is in the path or not and you can see that it is under the path all rest of the stuff is from the existing path because when we see dot bash profile i am appending sbt home slash bin to the existing path so the entire things are elaborated here now we have sbt here uh, what we have to do is we have to develop a uh, scala program for that i have i will be creating a directory called scala cd scala and then i will create uh, uh, directories as per the uh, recommendations or instructions provided here okay so first i have to create an sbt file so i have to copy this copy c and then you can use the your favorite editor it could be nano or it could be vi in this case i am actually using vi i am saying simple dot sbt hit enter i and paste it 
ok. So, here we are defining the dependencies ok. Because we will be using 1.2.1 it is very important that you have a .sbt file for your application using the appropriate version. Save it and then we will create this directory structure under this mkdir minus p and paste. So, it will create all the directories. Uh, we just created this scala directory and there, there is nothing here. Okay, there is a file already. So, it, I have already created a layer itself. Uh, anyway, um, but you do not see a directory called src here. So, you can use this command mkdir minus p and paste it. Hit enter. Now, you can see ls minus ltr. You can see src main scala here. And then let me delete this partial dot scala. Yes. And then I will create a file under source main scala. Following the same instructions, I will name it as simple app dot scala. Simple app dot scala i. And then I have to copy my code here copy and paste it here, save it, exit and before actually running this, let me see that this directory does not exist, otherwise our program will fail. The directory where we are trying to uh, write the file as part of this program using save as text file that directory should not exist that we can validate by saying Hadoop ss minus ls paste and hit enter directory is already there so let me remove this okay so now uh, uh, also we will make sure that this directory from where we are writing uh, exists or not it should exist copy Hadoop ss minus ls paste hit enter and this directory is created as part of my earlier videos. I have already covered scoop and we have used scoop to import all our data from our uh, MySQL database into this location. Hence the data is already there. So we will be reading this data using se.txt file which is the spark command and then we will save it as um, uh, uh, by using save as text file command to this location. It is a very simple uh, Scala script. Uh, so, let us see how we can actually uh, build an application around it. Now, we have the uh, uh, code already in this package uh, called uh, in, in the package called Scala package, and the application name is simple app.scala. And uh, let me make sure that. I, yeah, yeah, so everything looks good. And now, what I have to do is I just have to say sbt package. So it will read the simple.sbt and uh, download all the dependencies that are defined in this in it, and it will build a jar file out of the source code which are under uh, src. And before running it, if you are uh, interested, you can run this command find dot uh, on the directory where you have created the simple dot sbt and source directory, and it should display this layout. And this this uh, Scala file should have the code which you want to compile. And it will take very long time, and depending upon your internet speed, it has to download many packages. And once that is done, it will generate the jar file. So, for the first time uh, it will take a very long time because it has to download uh, many uh, jar files to compile the programs and you can see that it has created a directory called target and a project and uh, you can actually run du minus sh star and you can see that uh, the project has 76k and also like maven it will have a hidden directory. 
under home uh, location with dot uh, sbt extension uh, which will be created when you actually run sbt package command and if you look at the properties of that directory size properties you can see that it has downloaded 42 megabytes of jar files so that's why it took long time it has failed because uh, the program is not complete so i have to open the program and hit enter i need to add this object simple app and then uh, i have to say def main here and then close this to breakers so that it look like a actual program i'm copying this this will be available as part of the github okay now i can come out of it and then i can run fvt package command and hit enter. This time it will not take very long time because all the jar files are already downloaded. Okay, now packaging is done and it has generated the jar file in this location. You can validate. Paste, hit enter. Now you can use spark submit command to submit the job. it looks like this so you can say spark submit minus minus class sample app space slash so that we can type it in multiple lines master local so i want to run it in local mode and then I have to give the jar file location. This is the jar file location. Copy and paste and hit enter. So it failed. It says uh, class not found sample app. Okay, I named it as simple app. And I'm trying to run it as sample app. So let me modify it to simple app and hit enter. Now it will run it, run it as a spark job. Now it is done. And we can actually look at the location which we have deleted earlier. So this is the location where we try to create the file and hit enter and you can see that it has copied the data to this file under this location you can also do cat on this file and you can see the data in this location so this is how you can actually use uh, sbt to compile our scala program into a class uh, and a jar file and uh, you can actually submit the job using spark submit command.